Welcome to the brand new CogMed. Today I'm going to show you a demo of what new CogMed looks like. I'm really excited about it because it does look really cool and I'm already addicted to the reward game inside it. You can play this demo yourself by going to the link that's posted below this video. So when you go into the demo, you're going to see that there are now two versions of CogMed, standard and light. Most people are going to do standard, but the light version is for uh, perhaps younger children or maybe people who have suffered a stroke. Pretty much anybody who needs numbers and letters excluded. So if people um, aren't familiar with numbers and letters or haven't learned numbers and letters, then they'll do light. But, but pretty much everyone else is going to do standard. So I'm going to demo the standard CogMed program today. And you'll have a choice of whether you want to do the create version of CogMed or the focus version. They're exactly the same exercises, but in Create you have this cool reward game that kids have said it looks a bit like SimCity or Minecraft. And as an adult, I actually found it really fun <laughs> as well. But in the Focus version, you can see it's just the exercises, no reward game. So same exercises, same proven program, um, same results, but just looks a little bit different. So when you enroll in CogMed, you'll have a choice about what you would like to do. I'm going to select the Create version today. And this is called the CogMed Islands and it's asking me to unpack crates to get resources to build with. So each CogMed game is a crate and when I complete each CogMed exercise that's assigned for the day, then I'm going to earn money and gems that I can use to expand my little world that I've got here. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Very motivating for me anyway. You can see that in the demo mode, all of the games are shown here. This won't be the case when you do CogMed for real you'll have either three or five games to do depending on the protocol that you choose. So you'll just have some of the games presented here and those will change um, according to CogMed's protocol each day. So there are a variety of exercises in CogMed and they are focusing, some of them are focusing on auditory working memory and some of them are focusing on visual working memory. So what I'm going to do today is just show you an example of each. So let's look at a, an auditory working memory game. So that's memory for what you hear. I'm going to choose this one. It's called digits. Eight. Nine. So it's giving me some instructions. And in this game, I need to put the numbers in backwards. So I heard eight, nine. So I'm going to click nine, eight. And then I can see I've gone up a level and some Blue goes into my progress here. Nine. Three. Five. Six. So the first time you do CogMed, it is going to look like this and you're going to get just two numbers to remember. Then what's going to happen is pretty quickly it's going to move to three numbers. Six, two, six. So this was a very easy combination of three numbers. Okay, and the demo stops there. So when you do CogMed for real, obviously it's going to be longer. Each exercise is going to be longer than that. But I really like how you can see your progress and you can see what level you're working at. So on the first time you do each game, it's going to figure out what your working memory capacity is. And this is a really important feature of CogMed because the working memory of a, you know, a, a six-year-old and the working memory of a 56-year-old are going to be very different. So it's going to work out how much you can remember. And then the goal of CogMed is to push those boundaries. So I have people who are remembering, say, eight or nine numbers backwards now on that particular game, which is amazing. And so CogMed is each day pushing them a little bit, making it a little bit harder so that they can remember more and more. And that's how we strengthen working memory. There's another version of that exercise where you have to sequence the numbers backwards, but you can't see the numbers while you're hearing them, if that makes sense. So you can see that the game that I've just gone is that the game that I've just done is not here anymore. So I have one less game. I'm going to do an exercise that looks at my visual working memory now. So I'm going to do the grid game. So again, I need to remember what I saw.
So again, two is pretty easy. In my personal version of Cogmed, I can do about eight of these now. I'm sure when you do Cogmed, you're going to get better than me. Okay, so remembering, that's remembering what I see. And great, I earned a new building. Awesome. And there's also a version of that exercise which actually rotates around. These exercises look pretty simple, but that is the point. They're not supposed to be really complicated, but when they work up to your level, they're going to challenge you so much. The one that actually challenges me the most, everyone has a different exercise that's going to challenge them. The one that challenges me most is the cube exercise. I think it's because there are so many squares here and the cube is also moving. So some people really like this exercise, but this one really challenges my brain. So by repetitively doing these exercises that work to stretch your working memory, you're going to increase the capacity of your working memory, which means that you can fit more in it, which means that then you're going to be able to you know, remember more in, in all aspects of your life. And who doesn't want to remember more? Okay, so once I've actually finished all of my games for the day, I'm going to be able to go into build mode. In the demo, I can actually switch to build mode now and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the world that I've got and I've got a bunch of money up here that I've earned from doing Cogme games and a bunch of gems. And what I can actually do is I can build my world. So if you're an adult, you can actually choose to do a version of Cogmed which doesn't include this feature, but I actually really like it. So if you're an adult and you want to do the version of Cogmed that includes this feature, then go on, don't be ashamed of that. It's absolutely nothing to be ashamed of that you would like to have a bit of fun and, and play a little reward game. <laughs> After you've finished, I have plenty of adults who were doing the previous version of Cogmed who would choose the version with a reward game. So you can see that that's basically it. And then you can actually use your gems to unlock new things. So that looks like a boat, I think, is it? Wow, that's cool. I didn't expect it to be that big. Okay, so I hope this gives you a bit of an idea of what Cogmed looks like. Um, request an info pack if you haven't already to find out more about Cogmed. Give us a call at Sonic Learning. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you have and we look forward to working with you soon.